Hi Aries, this is Jackie Talman. This is your general reading for the week of March 16, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. Happy St. Patty's Day, everyone. I uh, also want to remind you that the next tarot card workshop is the 21st of this month. And extended videos are up. So Mercury Retro ending on uh, has already ended. We still should be out of the clear of that. On the 16th of the month, you pretty much should be shaking the energy of retro, maybe feeling a little bit of the new uh, full moon energy, but things going along well. I'm definitely seeing the shift in Aries for the upcoming week. Some of your scattered energy is not a bad thing, okay? I'm seeing some endings in closure, but I'm also seeing you're celebrating these endings in closure, okay? There is a renewal with someone from the past. There's a good business deal. The only thing I find to be aggravating for Aries this particular week is that the week may be a little bit slower moving than uh, what you're used to. And for whatever reason, I think a Taurus may resonate with some of you guys. Um, and ultimately, I see you standing up for yourself. You know, um, you'd rather be alone than accept something that's not right. So really taking a stand towards the week's end. So let's take a look. We're looking at Aries. And this is your last week, um, the week of March 16th, 2020. Don't forget, guys, if you're enjoying these readings, like, share, and subscribe. And you can always get a psychic reading at JackieTomlin.com. All of the links are in the description box below the video. All right, Aries, your week, March 16th. Aries, you guys start with the chariot, followed by the Knight of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana of Strength. Look, we'll go for all the major cards. The Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords. Let's stop here and I'll break down and pull three more. Y'all got a fantastic week ahead, starting with the chariot being my favorite card in the deck. The chariot means yes. Everything you want, everything you desire, uh, but my thing of it is, is it comes in totally unexpected. Knight of Swords, something come rushing in. With that, you have the Wheel of Fortune, and what's rushing in? Anxiety, feeling overwhelmed. You guys are going to be busy, okay? So it's just kind of that uh, bajiggity feeling of not knowing where to go from here. Trying to decide if the wheel's going to turn to your favor or if it's going to turn against you. It is definitely going in your favor. Next to that, we have the strength. The strength to pull you through anything. It's going to be a busy week. Nine of Pentacles showing financial independence. Financial stability. And with that, you have the Two of Swords, which is decisions. And those decisions are going to apply to those finances. Moving forward, Aries, you've got the Three of Pentacles, you've got the King of Cups, and you have the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so even though we have the financial dependence here and strength, it looks like you're still stressing about where to apply the money. I see that here and here. The Three of uh, Pentacles shows that you're concerned about finances on a whole. Don't put your energy here. You've got a lot more at hand, a lot more offers coming in. Don't let this stress you out. King of Cups shows your balance is restored. Things are going well for you, and you may be juggling a little bit financially, but ultimately you are grounded. You're on solid ground there, okay? So what I really want to say is your finances are going to be fine. Do not let stress or, or anything like that come into play in regards to the finances. It's just not going to be worth it because it does work out to your favor. Now, what you've got for your major arcana, you don't forget, the chariot overrides this entire reading. You get everything you want and desire, and it comes in completely unexpected. Wheel of Fortune shows your anxiety is high and that you're a little overwhelmed, but that's okay. You have the strength to get through anything, so don't let the financial concerns affect your week. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to take the time to like, share, and subscribe. Check out your daily as well as your weekend video, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.